What's up everybody? This is Charlotte and this is Damien. I'm here to show you four different ways on how to style your outre amber. And yes, she is a half wig and she's beautiful. So uh, stay tuned and I'll show you the four different ways. Yeah. Giving up is the worst mistake you could ever make. Oh yeah. Giving up is not a part of my DNA. <laughs> that was yesterday. Welcome back everybody. <laughs> um, I'm going to show you the four different ways on how to style amber. So first way is the flip over method. I just um, plaited my hair. My hair was already wet from the previous day and um, I took some curl pudding and I just plaited my hair and um, twist the ends like this and I wish I could had my hair still twisted so I could show you but I just took it out. You can't really tell where my hair is. Oh well this is my hair and this is amber so I just blended in with that. I have some of amber flipped over here. You don't really need a part necessarily because there is no part and it yes, looks it's a pretty. Yeah, it's a half wig. So all my hair is right here and this is where the wig begins. I don't know if you can really tell because my hair is dark and the wig is dark. So, But the whole purpose of the flip over method is so to you not won't have be able to part. see the wig or. Yeah, you a part. don't have a part with the flip over method. So, and, hair. um, hold on. She did, she didn't take all of her hair. She has the hair from ear to ear, mm -hmm. the front part. Yeah. So it's just the front part of her hair from ear to ear that she has out. And I only made four plaits with the, I had two on this side and two on this side. So then I uh, flipped my hair over and blend, started to blend it in. Um, another way, if the ends of your hair are not necessarily curly, um, mine aren't because my hair is not really all the way natural. So I would take my Remington wand. I don't know what the size barrel it is, but if you can infer by just looking at it, yeah, you got skills. So my hair is um, in fur. <laughs> so anyways, <laughs> so uh, this is the end of my hair. My end of the hair is kind of straight, so I'll just take the tip of the barrel. I just wrap this around. I hold it on there, and I let it sit. Don't try to burn your fingers. I let go, and the end is curly, and it just blends. So if you need to do that throughout your hair, then go ahead and do that. But this is one of my favorite styles. I never really wore it out like this because I was kind of self-conscious about me wearing it like this because the amber wig is shorter up here and then it goes longer. So it looks kind of weird to me. So yeah, I'm going to show you another way to wear it down instead of wearing it up. Um, you can take your toothbrush some edge control and a little bit of water. And not the toothbrush you brush your teeth with. It yes. has a separate hair brush. Separate <laughs> hairs. So I'm gonna take a little bit of water. Okay, sorry. Take a little bit of water and some edge control. And first you take the water and you brush this back. I gotta take my glasses off. Yeah. So you brush this back. My mom, my mom looking like, hopefully she can see. She can see, y'all. Oh, she can't see. <laughs> so, so she's squinting. Just, just forgive her. You're a little blind. <laughs> so i uh, put a little edge control right here. And I'll take my toothbrush and brush this back. And when I brush it back, I take it together. You twist it a little bit if you want to. And I'm gonna put my um bow. Can you get it in there? Oh my god. <laughs> okay. So I got my bow in there. Okay, it looks pretty good from this side. <laughs> from what I can guys. see. Um so yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so you have your little bow right here and your hair still pretty big and curly. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. So, yeah. This That's a good part. style for, um, like a teenager. 
It's not, maybe not something that an adult would wear necessarily, but I don't know. Maybe but, you would like that. Um, if you do like the bow, if you don't like the bow, you can also go with another style by using a bobby pin. And uh, just bobby pinning it back and it will still look cute and the outlook would look just the same. It just doesn't have like, this big old bow right there. So, um, <laughs> I know I've been getting a lot of requests on how to wear the half up, half down. A lot of people have been asking me, how do you do that? So, I'm going to show you how to wear your hair half up, half down. So, take this up. I like the bow. The bow? No, yeah, I like the bow too. So, <laughs> I'm going to take my, uh, I usually take my finger because I don't want to get a comb stuck in there. So, I'll just <laughs> split it, split the hair split the wig and my hair and split it half up and this is based off of your um the way you like it but i do ear from ear to ear and i just pull up and usually when i do wear my half up half down the wig is not really necessarily secure so i would have to put bobby pants underneath on both sides and um behind my ear so that way somebody came up behind me they and they try to pull my wig off I would just be left with my ponytail. <laughs> I don't want the whole wig to stay on. So, um, I try to go by precaution. So, um, I'm going to put a little bit more water because my hair is, my hair is a little nappy. So, <laughs> a little water. Uh, brush that up. Um, I don't have really a lot of gel, but... Yeah, you can put gel. Oh, yeah, I also got some... Eco, I don't know what it's called. Eco, yeah, eco, uh, olive oil gel. So yeah, I have a big old jar of it, and it's really good. Um, I would say throughout the day it does make my hair a little wavy, but that's cool because I'm wearing this curly hair. It's not like I'm wearing like some extra straight hair. Yeah. So, I'm gonna brush it up. And that scrunch is a little hairy, but here, <laughs> take the scrunchie and my bad, y'all. Be a little goofy. Um, put it up in the ponytail. Make sure you don't catch any hair. You don't want nobody trying to check out your ponytail. You got <laughs> hair stuck on there looking like Spider Man or something. So, <laughs> my bad, y'all. So, oh God, this take this and you just pull it. And you just uh, you style it however you wish. Make it big. I know it looks like kind of weird. So, yeah. So, what I do to make it look really cute, make it like a little girly-ish. <clears throat> so, for another teen style, you can take the bow if you want to and just place it right there. And this is one of my favorite styles. I love wearing my bows. So, I don't have it necessarily clipped in yet. But, you get the, the gist. So, I'm just sit right there. So also I'll take that or and always put your baby hairs because the baby hairs is going to make it yeah. look even more neat and it's going to make it look more natural. So I take my, I, I love to wear my knockers. People say, every time they see me with my knockers they're like, dang, did you steal, um, did you steal your uh, little sister Borat out of her box? <laughs> I'm like, um, hello, it's called a style, I'm a trendsetter. So not everybody at my school wear knockers, but... I'm in ninth grade and I wear knockers, so bring back a little childhood memory there. So, um, <laughs> so uh, yeah, so this is another cute style. I love wearing my hair like this. I wore when I wore this wig. This is what I wore for my birthday and everything. Um, I'll show you how to put some baby hairs on. So I take my brush again. <laughs> my bad. Y'all, the water just really. So, um, <laughs> it won't go off. So, um, yeah, you pull out some baby hairs with this water. Not a lot, just a little bit. So, um, yeah, I just, that's what I do for my baby hairs. And I got like, this is all she has to do for my baby hairs. Everybody always says, oh, I love your edges. They're so cute. They lay. And I'm like, oh, thank you. And they're like, how do you get your edges to lay? control some water and a toothbrush it's and lots of time yes it does because then if you have especially if you don't have a perm yeah um i don't have a perm as you can see this keeps popping back up 
So, um, yeah. Put a little bit more edge control on that. And push it down here. And it took me a, a, a good couple of years to figure out how to manage my baby hairs. So, I try not to go everywhere without them. Because if I'm wearing this style, I want to look like I have good hair. I don't want to look like some ragamuffin. So, uh, another style, the final style, um, is half up, half down with a bun. So, another cute style that you can wear. Take these knockers down. This used to be always the complicated part. People didn't know how to take out knockers and tear up their hair. <laughs> So, you don't have to take down, you just simply put it in a ponytail, as I've uh, shown you, pull it up, and take your donut, I call it a bun maker. And you can get that at the <laughs> local beauty supply for probably like a dollar, two dollars. And you take your hair, and if you don't know how to use it, I'm going to show you. So you take your hair and you spread it all around, over the donut, <laughs> and you tuck your hair <laughs> underneath the donut. And around, if you, some people like to do like that, so I'm gonna do it. You could just simply just tuck it underneath. And I don't. Sometimes I don't like my hair touching, making it look like I'm using a donut underneath. So I like to pull it back out to make it fuller, to make it look like I don't need a bun to help me. I I think that's just my um, opinion. I don't want to say prerogative because. God forgive me. I'm so, gonna get her a dictionary, you guys. Don't yes. worry about it. So, um, this is another cute style. I'm not really, it's not really perfected, but you can use a, bu a bow at the front um, to style it off. And in the back, it looks really cute. And you can't really tell there's any tracks right there, but just don't touch it too much. <laughs> people won't really notice. So, <laughs> if you um, are an adult and you do not want to wear a bow to work or just going out somewhere then you don't really have to it looks cute the way it is and um, yeah. you can also oh yeah I'll show you another one <clears throat> sorry not four or five so um another uh, another thing you can do use is uh, headbands I always love wearing my headbands with half wigs for some reason um, <laughs> I, wear my, I wear my headbands I'm like my mom like I don't like the headband I was like it makes me look athletic you know Makes me look like I actually do sports. I don't do sports. But um, I, um, you can also use headbands, bandanas, scarves, anything to make it look cute. Um, another way to do another bun. If you don't have a donut, this is probably the easiest way. way. Yes. So when you put your hair into this ponytail, I'm going to take it down so I can show you how to do it instead of. Try not to pull out any of the wig hair or my hair. <laughs> so, taking it back into a ponytail. And as you're, you just do what you do normally when you put it into a ponytail. Around a couple of times, make sure it's secure. And I do it, this is the second time I flipped, the third time, and for the Oh my god, you guys, you guys just happy. Oh Jesus. Okay, well, <laughs> my, my hand couldn't grasp it, so <laughs> that's just to give y'all a little taste of what we go through every day. See, morning. this is what happens when you haven't filmed videos in a long time. <laughs> so maybe it'll be better when I do my left hand. So, put your this. hair in the ponytail. Yes, this is the second time I wrap it around. <clears throat> third, third time. I don't know why I'm acting like I don't know how to grab hair. Okay, so when you do this, and you grab it, you pull it through, but not all the way through. You want to leave this hair excess and turn around to the back, and then you pull it. Have your thumbs underneath the ponytail and pull it outwards, and you have your little rainbow sitting on top of your head. That's cute. So it looks like a croissant. <laughs> Or <laughs> call it, you can call it a croissant, a half donut, a um, rainbow, you call it all kinds of things. So some days I feel like calling it a croissant, sometimes I call it a half donut, you know. 
a rainbow or something. So it looks like a little upside down U on your head. Looks cute. Look, looks cute. It's a cute style. A lot of people like to wear it. I usually wear my hair on my shoulders so I can give it a little volume. It's like boom. Look at me. So that's another cute style that you can wear just to bring out your personality a little more. If that is you, you can uh, also, you could put the knockers on it. If that's what you desire. You can put that on there. Um, you can also put the bow on there. It looks really cute, but you can't really see it as much. Or sometimes I usually wear my bow in the back. So that way I can see this in the front and also have a little cute design in the back. So that is some other ways that you can style your hair. And I hope that you love Amber because I love her just as much as I love Penny. And uh, I don't really think I did Penny in any of these styles. But if you want to know what color Amber is um, and what she, what she looks like when I first got her out of the bag, you could check that up in the eye above. And I hope you love her and adore her as much as I do. Um, I love the curls, and as she got older, the curls got bigger, and they look fuller, and I... And they look more natural. Yes, and it looks really cute. And like, the shine is starting to go away, and so it looks like my hair. So, I'm going to hope you love this video. Sorry for being so goofy. I just... <laughs> I had to let that out. So, um, tell me what you think. Leave some comments down below. Um, tell me what you think on how I did present on how to do these styles. Um, and I let Damien reply to all the comments uh, about her. Normally I reply to all the comments because she's usually busy with schoolwork or something like that. But since we're going into summer, then I'll go ahead and let her to um, start replying to videos and to our Instagram. So if you have not... Um, subscribe to us on Instagram and check us out at cute life on a budget mm -hmm. and um, yeah like our pictures let us know what you guys think and we'll subscribe back uh, also give us some a follow yeah, uh, follow I don't know. yeah on Instagram follow us back and yeah, uh, yeah and, also, and yeah, 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 yeah you know you know what we mean. so <laughs> so um, also leave us um, something that you would like to see uh, if you saw a cute wig that you think is uh, that would look cute on one of us, then let us know. We would love to try out new ideas and look up some reviews and we love wigs, we love hair. So we would be happy to go look at something that we haven't seen before. And um, if there's something that you would like us to talk about as a mother-daughter uh, relationship, let us know because we do like. Like us. Comment. And subscribe. See you guys later. Bye. Bye. I sound like somebody's mama talking about uh, subscribe. You can tell I'm somebody, mama. <laughs> subscribe to our Instagram. And just when you thought it was the end, it only just begun.